Meta co-founder and CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, once said, and I quote, nothing influences a person more than a recommendation from a trusted friend. The quote that I just mentioned encompasses the scope of one of the most widely spoken about methods of modern marketing, influencer marketing. A very good morning to everyone present here. I, Anisha Gangudi, extend a very warm welcome to our respected guest for the day, Dr. A. Jagan Mohan Reddy, our principal, Dr. Sister Lalita Thomas, the head of the Department of Commerce and Management, Dr. Lalita V. Raman, faculty members, Jyotinivites, and all the other students and teachers from across the country who have joined us for this morning's national level webinar. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our vice principal and HOD of the Department of Commerce and Management, Dr. Lalita V. Raman. The department carries out several activities each year under the able leadership of Lalita Ma'am. Ma'am, we welcome you. Jakta Poli, Kari Minati, Beauty Pai, Selena Gomez. Don't these names ring a bell? Well, apart from just being celebrities in their own right, they're often hailed as influencers. Influencer marketing is one of the most widely spoken about methods of modern marketing today. This branch of marketing has gained immense popularity and has zoomed to greater heights, especially after the onset of the pandemic when our social media usage rocketed. Organizations have started analyzing and utilizing the potential of influencer marketing in order to generate higher brand value, brand recall, and ultimately higher sales and revenue by actively engaging with social media influencers in marketing their offerings to the global customer. It is a great honor for me to pronounce that today, we are joined by Dr. A. Jagan Mohan Reddy. He has been a professor at Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Symbiosis International, Hyderabad. He is also a motivational speaker. Dr. Reddy is a gold medalist in economics with an MPhil degree from JNU and also holds a degree in MBA and PhD in management. He was a faculty member at IMT Ghaziabad before moving to Hyderabad. He has more than two decades of industry experience and has been in the teaching come research field for the past 20 years. His passion lies in synchronizing ancient wisdom with modern management. He was a regular feature writer for the internationally acclaimed English magazine Tatwa Loka and has also been a feature writer in corporate notepad a business connect from ITM Mumbai. Sir also runs a YouTube channel which focuses on the contemporary issues of economics, management, and marketing. Sir, I must say, we're indeed elated to have you today as our guest speaker. Participants joining us online, please note, if you all have any questions, please put them up on the chat box because after Sir's talk, we will address them. Sir, May I now please request you to take over the session? Sir, can we please request you to unmute? Yes. So oh, it's fine. Yes, sir, you're on. Okay, 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 right. So a very good morning once again to all of you. I would like to thank uh, the management of Jyoti Nivas College, a premier institute, you know, for women uh, with the NAC A plus accreditation. My thanks to Dr. Lalita Thomas, Madam Principal, Dr. Lalita Raman, Ma'am Dean, and also thanks to what I call Grace, my colleague, you know, for. Uh, uh, facilitating, you know, my interaction with you all. Right. Today, my topic is given is what I call influencer marketing. 
Now, I have divided my talk into what I call four parts. To begin with, you know, we'll look at the concept of you know, marketing, how the marketing evolved over a period of time. We'll look at what I call four P's, four A's, four C's, et cetera, et cetera. Then we'll come down to what I call influencer marketing. What is influencer marketing? And how to go about, you know, in case we wish to use this strategic marketing approach. Then we look at, you know, key few examples wherein companies successfully use influencer marketing to flourish. And then we'll see the future trend, you know, for what I call, you know, e-commerce, you know, commerce on online and all that. Then we will conclude. Right. Now, what's marketing? You know, I mean, people keep, you know, using, you know, marketing and sales interchangeably. But there is a big difference between marketing and sales. Sales is a what I call micro concept. Marketing is a what I call a macro concept. In marketing, our focus is on servicing and satisfying customer needs. Whereas in sales, we are focusing only what I call, you know, selling our goods and converting into what I call money. So what is so special about marketing? Though I am from what I call HR domain, you know, marketing you know, is of you know much interest to me. Don't you all think that we all do marketing in one way or other when we are dealing with our parents, when we are dealing with our peers, when we are dealing with our associates, as a teacher, when I'm dealing with my vertical students. So marketing is what I call, you know, very interesting. So irrespective of the domain, we all do a little bit of what I call marketing. Now, how the what I call, you know, marketing evolved over a period of time. It started somewhere in 60s, we call production era, where the emphasis is much on what I call, you know, cutting the costs. Because the companies were thinking that, you know, profits will take care of your global everything. They are not bothered about the, what I call the quality of product as such. Then we shifted to what I call the product era, wherein the companies were focusing on what I call the quality of the product. Because they felt that a good product will sell itself. From product era, we moved to what I call sales era. Sales. That means you're trying to work on induce, inspire the customer by offering something, maybe highlighting the features of, you know, your product, some kind of that. From sales, we moved to what called the marketing era, where the rule was customer is the king. Like, you know, we used to say, let me treat others the way we would like to be treated. But today, I'm sure most of you youngsters will not agree with me. Definitely will say, Mr. J. myself, we would like to be treated the way we would like to be treated. And that's where, you know, we shifted from marketing era to the relationship era. The relationship era means customers, what I call, you know, determine what they actually, you know, want. And accordingly, companies have to, what I call, you know, I mean, design their initiatives. In marketing, one word we use called what I call marketing mix. So what is marketing mix? Marketing mix refers to the set of factors which company could control in the process of influencing customers to buy the products. So initially, when I've done my MBA way back in what I call 90s, we were told about what I call four P's, the place, price, product, and what I call promotion. But down the line, you know, there were concerns about what I call people, processes, etc. So we added what I call three additional P's, that is people, process and physical evidence. But when we look at what are called four P's, we find that the focus is on only from the what are called the company side. Then people, you know, what are called came up with what are called four C's model. That's consumer, cost, convenience, and communication. You know, what was the reason for shifting from four P's to what are called, you know, four what are called C's? The four C, as we could see in the diagram, it focuses on what I call customer, what I call, you know, how he perceives the product or the company. When you're talking about the product, you know, are you thinking of the customer? When you're talking about what I call price or when you're fixing the price, are you thinking about the vertical cost? How best you, would go, you could reduce it, you know, offer it an affordable cost. And when you're talking about place, are you thinking of, you know, convenience for the customer and the promotion? That is what I call communication. In fact, my guru, Professor Ranjan Dash, from IM Kolkata used to say, Jagan, communication is the hallmark of management. No communication, no management. But when companies are communicating, are they creating value? Are they communicating value? Or are they delivering the value? But somehow, 
this four piece four seas approach also faced some criticism that was the time when professor jagdish seth and dr rajendra susodia they have come up with their what called four a model what is this what called four a model acceptability accessibility awareness and affordability when we are talking about what called access acceptability you know consumers accepting the function of the product and psychologically willing to what called go for it when you are talking about what called accessibility that is it you know available to the customer as per his convenience then we talk about what called the awareness this is what called the most important thing whether people are i mean aware about the product knowledge what are the uses that the product could be put are they aware of the what called brand awareness like for example when i say brook bond red label immediately what comes to my mind is what called the morning tea and the last but not the least what called the affordability in economics we use the word what called demand you know somebody what called desires to what called possess or buy what called a product but that's not an effective demand unless until the customer has the what called you know purchasing power to what called buy so acceptability accessibility affordability and awareness so this is how you know i mean the marketing you know has been changing evolving most of you are aware that there was a time when we are talking about customer satisfaction that means meeting the needs of the what called customer but subsequently the customer satisfaction we moved to what called customer delight that means you know making the customer feeling wow but today we are talking about what called customer experience there was a time when people were focusing on inside out approach that means you take care of you know your people they take care of your call your customers but today people like you know dave ulrich etc they are talking about what called outside in approach so what is the difference between you are thinking only about your people but when you are talking about what called outside in you are trying to what called understand the customer and then accordingly what called come up with appropriate initiatives so as to make people aware of the product of the brand and what called influence them to buy now then the next Sorry, sorry. Internal, 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 intern
to influence the customers to what called to buy the product. So what is influencer marketing? It's also a strategic marketing approach. But here we use endorsements and product mentions from the influencers. Now, who are these people? Influencers. Influencers are the individuals who have dedicated social following. You know, like for instance, you know, say Amitabh Bachchan. Okay. So they are viewed as experts within their vertical niche. Like, for example, you know, Amitabh Bachchan is what uh, I mean, looked at as a legend in the vertical Bollywood cinema as such. Now, let me give you an example. You know, so as what I call, you know, demonstrate the usefulness of influencer marketing. So there is one institute called Content Marketing, Content Marketing Institute. Today. So they Today. wanted to conduct a conference on what I call, you know, content marketing. So what, you know, normally people do, you know, I mean, they bring out a what I call brochure, what I call, you know, share it on the what I call, you know, Facebook and different what I call social media, et cetera, et cetera. Now, with a difference, what this institute has done is that they have a list of people, you know, who are invited to speak at the conference. So what they have done, they have asked, you know, these rather requested these experts to share, you know, what about their thoughts on the theme they are going to what about speak or they are going to present. Then they have compiled all the insights, you know, provided by what about these experts to speak on the what about at the conference and, you know, made a what about PDF uh, you know, file and shared with the what about, you know, the likely what about audience. So then what happened? The audience or the people, the prospective people who wish to what about, attend the conference, you know, they could see that who else is what about, you know, who is what about, coming uh, the, to the conference. So that way, you know, they have what about, created interest in the people to what about, to attend the conference. This is on the one hand. On the other hand, you know, this gave an opportunity to the experts to connect with what called with the people, the people who are likely to what called, attend the conference. So, in other words, this influence and marketing, you know, technique adopted by the what called this content marketing institute, you know, gave a win-win situation for the organizers, you know, what called ensuring or the attendance of the people, and for the experts, interaction what called with the people at large. So then a question might arise as to why to use influencer marketing when we already have what I call content marketing, wherein we are creating what I call, you know, interesting content, creative content to attract, to engage and retain people. Okay. Now it's okay. Ma'am, you're able to hear me? Hello. Hello. Are you able to hear me? Hello. Are you able to Hello. hear me? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So, Christian Ronaldo, a famous what about soccer player, and that's Nike, Nike <laughs> shoes. Is a classic case of what I call influencer marketing. So on the one hand, it elevates what I call the brand awareness, and secondly, it improves what I call you know the sales of the vertical company. Now, what is so special about what I call you know this influencer marketing? Number one, it builds trust. The social influence what I call built. And these influencers, so like you know, I'm talking about you know Ronaldo or Amitabh Bachchan. Or Varun Dhawan, who does it for the American Express, 
they have their own what called set of you know followers they have built you know trust over a period of time with their regular what called interaction so that trust you know what called we are company is using to improve the what called the brand awareness number 1 number 2 when these influencers what called you know endorse or talk about the product it is a social proof to your potential customers about the usefulness of the product so that means you are making the people more and more aware of your product and your company as such fine if influencer marketing is got got so good so how to go about with that the first and foremost thing is that we need to what all find influencers as i already said clear yeah influencers are the people who have considerable you know following and they are in a position to what all influence you know their what all decision making so we have to do research so when we are doing the research first thing is that we have to choose the platform are you selecting what all you know i mean facebook instagram twitter whatsapp so we can choose any platform to begin with but subsequently we can always what all expand say from one platform to what all other platform now let me give an example there was a time when we were not using the data generated by social media you know to understand what call customer behavior or consumer behavior gone are those days you know when we used to say okay uh, when somebody has what call you know visited a mall he is a decision maker no not necessarily when somebody enters the what call mall and you know decides to buy something maybe he was influenced by what call you know what call spouse or maybe he was you know influenced by his friends or maybe he was influenced by what call somebody so today Hello. you cannot say with 100% confidence that he is the one who what call decides that's the reason now companies have come out with what call social media <laughs> analytics so what is this what call social media analytics as we all know analytics what call you know helps us to what call you know process mass of data and you know provides us what call you know crucial or key insights about a behavior so once you choose a platform okay you know i mean you can select what call the kind of influencers you know like nike you know selected you know cristiano ronaldo there are some what call you know the influencers who are already present so that's always you know what call you know in a, in a, i mean what call preferable if somebody is already there on the what call social circuit then it is the best thing way for the company to connect with someone because he already has what are called a considerable following he is known when yeah, yeah, yeah. he talks or when he mentions about the product is very easy to follow following right second thing is that the social listening you youngsters might be aware that how important listening is in communication communication for some of us might be you know what can just speaking or saying but if you look at So the great managers, great leaders, they would have. Sorry, Tata. Sorry, Tata. Listening act on the social media, you will come to know what people are what are talking about. You have to think about what are the return on investment about your social influencer marketing campaign, because. you know i mean no friday meals are there so everything what call you know cost for us so that means we have to pick up the type of influencers interested in for example you know i am going to come to bandita you are probably we want say amitabh bachchan or amir khan you know what to talk about that so depending on the kind of product you know we have what is selected and kind of influencer with whom we would like to partner partner pa hello the second one is kanagraj setting the budget and management kanagraj now budget is very important till the other day a significant portion of the budget was you know allotted to the content marketing today we are talking kanagraj unmute your mic and said marketing okay is step you know what called further beyond okay and the third is that We have to keep in mind that influencers are what are called human. Sorry for the technical glitch and all that. Okay, 
that's how the life goes on so we discussed you know we looked at you know the content marketing and how influencer marketing is different from that while content marketing you know what call you know tries to create interest in the people you know for acting you know in terms of you know purchasing a product in the case of influencer marketing apart from you know what call sharing creative interesting information we bring in you know key people you know who will be able to what call influence customer decision and influencer marketing you know helps us to what call elevate our brand and improve sales then you know we were looking at how to how to go about with influencer marketing strategy then the first thing we said that you know we need to find the influencers for which you know probably we need to what call you know do some kind of you know research you know what kind of people are available there then maybe you know we need to listen to the people on the social media and the second thing we said is what call setting a budget because in good old days you know lot of budget you know used to be what call allotted for content marketing now that you know we are talking about influencer marketing a specific you know budget has to be what call you know allotted for this the third one we said decide on goals and message <clears throat> you know what sort of you know customer base you are looking at when you are looking at the demographic composition of your state or your country are you trying to focus on the younger generation millennials are you looking at what call a new group or a new group with what call new product we have to keep one thing in mind when we are planning a influencer marketing strategy is that these influencers reach very specific audiences like for example christian ronaldo you know what about reaching to what about you know sports shoes kind of thing or amitabh bachchan you know what about you know talking about movies etc the beauty of you know this influencer marketing is that the influencers conversational tone and the personal narrative you know gives what about added advantage in terms of exposure to a company's product and a what about brand but one thing the message is just as important as your goal okay your goal is what got to reach to the wider you know reach of the customers but what kind of message you know you are giving sending across you know sometimes it so happen that influencer you know might be giving a message which is totally unrelated to your campaign so we have to ensure that we are partnering you know with a influencer that he conveys the message you know which we want we desire which you know is connected to our product awareness product campaign etc then we need to structure how we are going to what call you know i mean conduct our influencer marketing campaign so once you decide on the goals and the message the next important thing is what call influencer how to reach now how to contract what call this influencers maybe we need to do you know some kind of research like an entrepreneur when he is planning to what call set up an industry what does he do he goes around what call in the market you know tries to find out what kind of products are are being sold could he come up you know something with new you know so that you know consumers you know will what call you know accept it and buy it so when we are looking at the right influencers probably you know twitter analysis tools could be of some use the whole focus should be on how we will be what call reaching to them there are some micro influencers with what call you know limited group of influencers then they have what are called established ones so according to the what are called the product and the product awareness we are what are called planning we need to what are called you know reach to the concerned what are called influencers the last but not the least is what are called review and refine some of you must have heard about a concept called what are called rolling plan when chandrashekar ji was a prime minister this concept of you know rolling plan has what called committed but subsequently it was put into the dustbin it has not seen the light of the day so what is so special about rolling plan in the typical plan you come up with a five year plan and what called you know sit you know what called tight on that you know till the five years is over but in the case of rolling plan though you have come up with a five year plan at the beginning of the every financial year you review and what called refine that means you are keeping your eyes and ears what called open that's what called you know strategic or strategic marketing is called about same is the case with your influencer marketing strategy so once we have what called you know i mean structured the campaign selected the influencers selected the platform etc there is a need to what called you know review and what called refine why i am you know stressing so much about review and refine is because 
we started with what I call fixed mindset. From fixed mindset, we moved to what I call the growth mindset. But today, thanks to the what I call VUCA world, the volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous what I call environment, we need to have fluid mindset. What is so special about fluid mindset? In the case of fluid mindset, you are flexible and your focus is on what I call improving. I think I want my young friends to make a special note of, you know, this word called improving. What is so special about this? Some of you must be wondering because this is one soft skill. As a teacher who's in the field for the last three to four decades, I'm sorry to say that this has not been what called emphasized much. Now, what do you mean by improve? Improve the way you perceive the things. Improve your, the way you plan it. Improve the way what call you execute. If you are good, try to do better. If you are better, try to be the best. If you are the best, be the outstanding. If you are outstanding, what call excellent. If you are excellent, wow. In engineering parlance, you know you might call this what call you know uh, total quality you know management or some kind of that. So we need to what call review and refine. Now having looked at the concept of you know influencer marketing and how to go about. Let us look at you know some of the successful examples. Some of you must have heard about this Fab Fit Fun. It is a lifestyle subscription brand. Okay, now what they have done? They wanted to work on you know improve their outreach, improve the work on sales of the company. So what they have done? They have partnered with none other than the celebrity cook Ayesha Curry, an influencer marketer on the work on Facebook. Now, not only this, Ayesha Curry, they work with more than 10,000 influencers. And these influencers include customers also. Now, some of you must be wondering that how a customer could be what call an influencer. In marketing course, you must have heard about you know, word of mouth. Sometimes the word of mouth is more powerful than your what call advertising. For instance, look at what call Southwest Airlines. When they conduct what call interviews for selecting the people, they also put some customers on the what call the selection board. Why? Because they'll select the people, you know, I mean, who could what call meet their expectations, you know, what call their desires when they're traveling what call on the Southwest Airline. So because of this you know, what call partnership with the what call influencer marketers, the company has grown 300% year on year. It's an impressive number. Don't you all agree? The second example. HelloFresh. What is this HelloFresh? HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service. You can see from the vertical photograph. They, what I call, you know, I mean, depended heavily on this influencer marketing. And let me tell you, they continue to win on the what I call the market. In fact, I was told their own 55% of the influencer share of voice. So, you know, I mean, when you high, have high profile, you know, foodies, like, you know, what I call, you know, uh, this, uh, this Elmi, you know, uh, Elmi, what I call Hebert, don't you think that, you know, people will buy on what I call HelloFresh? When Christian Ronaldo talks about what I call Nike shoes, don't we all get tempted, inspired? That's the beauty of what I call influencer marketing. The third one, American Express. Some of you must have watched, you know, Varun Dhawan, you know, what I call trying to what I call, you know, market the American Express bags. The typical my travel style campaign. So what is that American Express has done? They have used what I call video content featuring famous athletes, bloggers, celebrities. Now, when you use these famous athletes, bloggers, etc., you are what I call sharing a relatable content. A content, not only creative and interesting, but something what they could relate to. So naturally, it was more engaging and more effective also. The next, let's look at what called the brand Kent Atameka. We all know that Heba's Kitchen is a leading YouTube Facebook channel. So what this what called company has done, because they know that this YouTube Facebook channel, they keep on coming with two minute short and simple recipe videos. Like how to make idlis, how to make those, some kind of that. Oh, we South Indians you know, keep talking about. 
and their fan base is about 1.6 million subscribers. So what they've done? Then they thought, fine, given their vertical, their outreach, and given their vertical impressive vertical channel with the kind of you know followers, subscribers, you know they have, they decided to partner with Hebas Kitchen. What for? To promote their vertical cooking equipment. What is that? Kent Atameka. So you are making bread with Kent bread and vertical Atameka. When you know that there is an vertical established influencer in a vertical you know kitchen related vertical equipment kind of thing. Don't you think that that's the best way of vertical partnering with that? So as to make people aware that this atta maker, you can make vertical bread. Excellent. A win-win kind of situation. Now we looked at, first of all, the concept of marketing, how the marketing evolved, and how you know vertical changed. Hello? Yes, ma'am. No, I am at the future of Converse. No. My goodness. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Man. Are you able to see now, ma'am? Okay. Now at the future of Converse. I'm in slide share uh, this thing only, ma'am. Ma'am, I have done slide show only. Okay, shall I shall I change this? American Express. Okay. 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 Now you can see the future of commerce. Okay, shall I continue? Okay, I will not what I call, I will not make, shall I make full screen? You are able to see me? Okay, right, right, right. So, so quickly, you know, let's see what I call, recapitulate what we have discussed so far. First of all, we looked at, you know, the concept of marketing, you know, I mean, how the marketing evolved over a period of time. From production to product to what about to sales to what the marketing and what the relationship. Now, when I was talking about relationship era, I would like to you know share with my young friends that for me, management revolves around relationship management. You manage relationships, you manage what about your product sales as such. Then we looked at what the concept of influencer marketing, and we have seen unlike what about content marketing wherein you are creating what I call and sharing, you know, interesting what I call, you know, videos, podcasts, etc. Thereby trying to influence the customers to buy. In the case of influencer marketing, we are trying to bring the key people to influence, you know, about the awareness about the, our brand and the, what I call, you know, our product. Then how to go about, we have seen, you know, conducting research, selecting the type of, you know, what I call influencers, etc, 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 fine. Know how the future of you know commerce what the looks like. As I was mentioning with you all, that today we are in a what called VUCA world, a volatile, uncertain, you know, what I call you know, complex and ambiguous. Have we ever thought that you know by keeping our laptop, you know, what I call you know, you're doing shopping without moving, you know, from your host? But today the e-commerce has become increasingly competitive. So many companies are vertical coming into vertical e-commerce outline. In fact, you know, the recent survey shows that the e-commerce sales are up by 45% from 2019. Now, when the environment is vertical highly competitive, in fact, I keep telling my young friends that Kattarugravadi, in other words, there's no mercy. If you are good, you need to be better. If you are better, best, etc. etc. That means your focus should be always on what about improving. Never, you know, get into the habit of what about, you know, getting into comfort zone. So, how your commerce strategy should be? Your e-commerce strategy should be what called stellar, a continuous one, and most importantly, customer-centric commerce experience. 
you can no longer you know focus on customer satisfaction or customer delight but today the need of the hour is to focus on what called customer experience now when we are talking about customer experience strategy what kind of trends you know we are what called witnessing on the horizon the trends driving how we buy and sell i was mentioning that there was a time when what called social media analytics was not thought of after business analytics has come but today we understand that to understand you know consumer behavior it may not be merely enough to what to look at his what to call you know i mean how he goes about in buying the products and you know what to call you know services maybe his decision making is getting influenced by his what to call family his friends his peers etc etc so that's the reason you know companies started you know what to call you know looking for what to call the data you know that is keeping emanated from the social media like whatsapp etc and that's how companies what to call you know started using social media analytics in other words getting key insights about the consumer behavior has to be a continuous process for instance look at your interaction with your teacher be it what to call you know grace ma'am or lalita ma'am or whoever it is in all what is that a teacher does here a teacher continues what to call keeps monitoring what to call you know his or her students in the classroom so as to find out you know how to what to call engage them are they here or they what to call somewhere else and how best what to call you know attract them engage them and retain their interest in what to call in the lecture you know what to call you know she is engrossed with so let's look at what to call these three trends so that companies can accordingly come up with appropriate marketing strategies number 1 commerce commerce is everywhere look at you know what the kind of you know what the channels you know people are using we are using mobile and a mobile you know we are ordering for the food we are ordering for our clothes and all that then you have what the social media people you know looking for the things you know what the watching you know what kind of you know things you know people are buying what kind of things you know people are what are disposing of and all that so social media also has become you know very powerful the third one what called headless media sometimes you know customers what call may not what call tell you anything but they'll show what call in terms of their actions so by looking at their what call actions the companies what call need to understand look at what happened to what call blackberry what happened to what call kodak you know i mean camera what happened to the ambassador card because some of these companies you know they fail to see the kind of you know what call changes you know that are you know coming with what called continuous evolvement so when you fail to observe and having observed when you fail to what called adopt having adopt when you fail to improve what will happen the same what happened to blackberry what happened to what called kodak or what happened to what called some of the company as such next is what called the video the voice you no know, recently i happened to what call go to a, a, a what call i mean a store where you know they what call sell shoes chappals etc it's called what call you know mumbai metro so during the covid time you know the manager of this you know what call you know abits branch in hyderabad he has come up with a what call innovative idea what is that you know showing you know through video and what call voice interaction to the customers the kind of you know what call shoes the varieties you know they having but one of the what call you know the sales person what he has done see that's what what the creative in fact sometimes i feel you don't need to be what call educated highly educated to be what call creative so why i'm using you know this word creative is that when people were talking about you know human beings becoming irrelevant by 2025 i think jack ma said as long as we continue to invest in what call emotional quotient and we try to be what call creative and critical in our thinking human beings you know will continue to be relevant now coming back to the story so what the salesman has done apart from you know what to call you know i mean picking up the kind of the, the, the type of you know shoe the customer has selected you know with the what are same size he used to what to call you know take two or three other pairs also of the same size for delivery so naturally when the customer sees that of the same size you know few other varieties are what to call you know available 
in most of the cases, he was able to what call sell what call two pays, three pays such. Now that's a kind of what call you know creativity what call you know is called for what call in today's marketing. Now when I'm talking about creative marketing, intelligent marketing, there's something you know flashes in my mind. What is that? When it is about to rain, immediately the sales fellow comes what call you know I and mean, then handles you know keeps a what call you know umbrella over your head. Now that's a kind of you know action which is required on the part of the companies. The second one, personalization and privacy. Today, many of us are worried, you know, while what call interacting on our mobile, WhatsApp, etc., that whether our data is what call being shared with all with others as such. So companies need to what call pay attention to what call this factor also. And the third and the most important one is what call product to purpose. Today, we are talking about you know what called sustainability. We are talking about you know how to what call you know preserve our environment. So customers are also looking whether the companies have a set of values. So for instance, what about you know look at Tata's, the kind of you know what about the brand image, the reputation they enjoy in the field. The Tata Group, sixty-three percent of you know what about their profits you know go for what about charity. They are continuously in the service of what about you know society as such. When I'm talking about you know what about you know values, you know what comes to my mind. Is that action of you know Ajit Premji when he noticed that one of his general manager funds what called TA bill to the tune of one lakh. In fact, you know one lakh at the general manager level is nothing. But Ajit Premji, you know what called he didn't wait even for a second, and you know what called asked the general uh, uh, provided for the general manager to what called leave gracefully because he didn't want what called a senior officer you know without values in this company as such. So when I'm talking about values, when I'm talking about purpose, when I'm talking about ethics, look at the purpose of business, how it evolved. We started with what about you know the Peter Drucker, the father of modern what about management, when he said that the purpose of the business is to find a customer. In other words, he was talking about the profit. But down the line, the companies have realized that profit alone does not serve the purpose. Then people started talking about triple bottom line, the people, profit, and the planet. But we have seen what about the what called, you know, non-factory in West Bengal and the gram. Though Ratan Tata sir enjoyed what called, you know, lack of rapport, etc. with the dad and Chief Minister Bhattacharya sir, he could not what called, you know, hold on to the project. Because, you know, Didi, you know, meanwhile has come up with Ma, Marty, Manush kind of things, you know, people's attachment with the land, etc., etc. That means, for the first time, the companies you know started you know feeling, yes, we need to what call engage our stakeholders also. When I'm talking about stakeholders, that means your employees, your vendors, your customers, and the what call society at large. Probably, keeping this changed perspective or the perspective that is evolving over a period of time, companies at the last what call round table business round table. They have what are called unanimously resolved that the purpose of the business is to engage multiple stakeholders, your employees, your vendors, your suppliers, and what are called the society at large. So companies, while aiming to what are called make profit, they also need to you know what are called you know demonstrate you know a set of values for which the what are called company stands for. So. When we are talking about influencer marketing, influencer marketing as a customer experience strategy, you are aiming at delivering outstanding customer experience. As I was saying, that customer satisfaction has gone. It has become a vertical obsolete word like empathy. Before you know COVID, we were talking about empathy. But thanks to the COVID, empathy has become an obsolete word. Now people are talking about vertical compassion. That means you're not only able to feel the pain, but you're trying to whatever, alleviate the pain. So when you are planning to deliver outstanding customer experience, influencer marketing what about, you know, comes in very handy. Because this is a what I call a strategic marketing approach, wherein apart from you know having what about, the creative content to what I call you know attract, engage, and retain, 
you are you know what i call you know roping in some key personnel key influencers who have you know considerable influence with their or their set of you know followers to talk about your brand and to talk about what call your product so that means your strategy has to be flexible agile and what call responsible why i'm talking about you know flexible is i was saying from fixed mindset to growth mindset growth mindset what call fluid mindset today we are in a what call dynamic situation things are changing every moment every second if you ask me i am a teacher for the last what call you know 3 to 4 decades in what call in the teaching line i never thought that a day will come you know wherein i'll be what call you know interacting with the students of jyoti nivas college what call or online i never similarly when i started my what call teaching career i never thought that a day will come where i need to have a ppt kind of thing you know to show and then what call interact because in good old days we used to go to the class and have a what call extempore kind of session but today the beauty of you know ppt is that you are able to what call you know keep yourself on the topic itself that means even if you are likely to what call digress a little bit there is always in you know, what call scope to what call come back number one number two students will be able to what call connect they are what call you know watching your slide and simultaneously what call listen so in other words like with the changing you know what call needs changing what call you know situation we also what call need to change second agile today companies need to be what call you know 24 by 7 365 days on their toes trying to understand more and more about the customer today customer decision making may not be solely of his own maybe he is getting what call influenced by the social media by his family members his friends and all that so as a company are we continuously trying to understand this customer for me a customer is a human being a human being with complex mission he has his own set of emotions he has his own set of desires feelings and all that how best you know we could what call you know understand them how best you know we could what call go near to him and deliver what exactly he wants for instance we'll look at what about apple uh, um, and what about mobiles you know the beauty lies in what about their innovation every time you know they are coming with what about something which what the customer what about you know did not expect the third is what about responsive react and respond reaction you know will not help in today's environment respond how best how quickly you respond to your customers so when as a company as an organization if you are prepared to adapt to change things will you know work will work all for better but this flexibility agility and responsiveness not only for the companies even for what the individual like when i whenever i get an opportunity to interact with youngsters like you i keep saying one thing read reflect and relate read your teacher what call makes you read some concepts be it what call content marketing or be it what call you know influencer marketing you know whatever it is and all that but having read that concept or bhavana reflect on that what is so special about what is the concept like for example delegation when you what call you know learn about delegation probably you should ask yourself why to delegate like you know you remember your mother used to call you beta thoda sabji lana because your mother was busy what the preparing breakfast for your father so she was asking you to get visibles from the refrigerator that means when you delegate you are getting some free time so that you can continue and do some good work and all that so having reflected relate but down the line when you get into what call corporates start working how you can what call use this concept what call apply but to do this successfully you always need to be what call agile you follow my mantra of what call observe adopt mantra nothing is static in today's situation everything is changing things are changing what call so fast so are we keen in observing the things the way the things are what call evolving like you know from 4 p's to 4 c's 4 c's to 4 a's now you know when i mean uh, philip kotler is talking about you know creating communicating delivering value as such 
as long as we continue to focus on improving ourselves like i said from good to better better to world best promotes and etc etc i'm sure that all of you will bring name and fame to jyoti nivas college the college is a premier institution by itself now with what about math a plus accreditation but in my view it's our students what about who bring name and fame to the what about you know i mean to the college you know from which what about they graduating you are our brand ambassadors so naturally you know we want you to do better for that i want you people to focus from today onwards one important soft skill that is called what called improving so here i stop and then what call allow you people to what call you know raise any doubts or questions i'm sorry for the technical glitches and all that that was beyond you know my or grace madams you know power you but i tried my level best what call be in touch with you so over to uh, grace ma'am हेलो या चांदू या यू आर ऑडिबल गो एड the first question that says uh, so the person wants to know what are the metrics used by social media influencers social media influencers social media now youngsters all of your about the beat instagram beat what called whatsapp you know beat what called facebook and all that as i was sharing with you there was a time when people were mostly using the facebook now my daughter no longer uses what i call facebook mostly she is on the what i call instagram as such so uh, similarly when i have done my mba i was not you know aware of this analytics as such you know analytics is what i call your kind of tools which will you know enable you to what i call you know i mean process mass of data and provide what i call key insights last year or last before years i have not heard about what i call social media analytics so technology has to be what about uh, uh, you know i mean most sort of the one you need to what about you know keep yourself updated the most the, the most important thing is what about focus on getting key insights like i was telling you a teacher and a student a student will not remain what about the same student his expectations are changing his desires are changing probably you go well prepared for a lecture all of a sudden he'll say sir i am not clear about this maybe that's not connected you know with the topic which are handling so we need to what call you know technically adaptable must be you know able to what call you know i mean read customer like i was saying the decision making no longer is yours it could be of your family members it could be of your friends and all that so continuously you must be able to what call data is a must for decision making but what kind of data you are using are you using the relevant data that matters Uh, thank you so much, sir. So I don't think there are more questions. Sorry, once again for all the technical glitches in between the interruptions we had. Hope you people enjoyed. Yeah, once again, Kani Moji asked one thing. Hello, sir. What is the difference between influencer and an opinion leader? Now. influencer is someone you know who has you know what call set of followers whom he could what call influence like i was you know saying what call you know cristian ronaldo or amitabh bachchan there is an opinion leader you know for example you look at what call sanjay raut of uh, shiv sena he is a spokesperson of what call shiv sena he is an opinion leader but he may not be able to what call influence outside what call you know his shiv sena party as such opinion leader is someone you know who has his own opinion people respect that but whether he could influence others the moment we are talking about influencer is someone who can influence you know his followers like you know anna hazare yes sir thank you so we have the next question from one of yeah. our students here yeah hello sir i'm sara and my question is 
how different is celebrity endorsement and influencer marketing? Because when Amitabh Bachchan or Cristiano Ronaldo does the marketing, it will be celebrity endorsement and influencer marketing will be a bit different. So I would like to know the difference, sir. Thank you. When we are talking about, you know, I mean, uh, content marketing, uh, sorry, celebrity, what are the endorsements? Maybe as uh, Salman Khan, as you rightly said, Amitabh Bachchan and all that. But influencer marketers, you know, need not be what about a celebrity. He could be a celebrity, but you know, people like say, for instance, you know, let me give you one name. Say we have uh, one Jay Prakash Narayan in uh, what called Hyderabad. Now he was an IS officer, upright IS officer. Okay, he subsequently resigned. He was into politics and all that. But whenever you know what called he talks something about you know governance, he was talking talks about you know corruption. He talks about you know Sri Lankan crisis. You know, people what called you know listen to him carefully. Because he has a what called set of you know what called followers, with whom you know what called regularly what called you know he you know uh, he's in touch. He interacts with them, and different what called so these set of influencers, you know they are, they could be what called different you know what called you know fields verticals. It could be he or she could be a fashion designer, or he could be a what called professor like me. For instance, I'm on Twitter. Okay, so whenever something happens, you know, being a student of you know Jawaharlal Nehru University what called New Delhi, I'm interested in what called political economy. So the moment you know what called something happened in Sri Lanka, I was you know looking at what called Sri Lanka, how this you know what called crisis you know what called you know arose. So those who follow me on Twitter, when I say something, definitely they will definitely what called you know I mean get influenced by that. A celebrity endorsement what called did not be. For example, Salman Khan the other day I have seen some pan masala. Do you think that a Salman Khan you know will be able to what called influence people to what called chew that pan masala? Definitely not. So that's where you know what I call the thin line of difference comes between the influencer marketing and what I call celebrity marketing. A celebrity might or might not be able to influence, whereas an influencer definitely, with his what I call you know, I mean, committed you know set of followers, he'll be able to do that. Thank you so much for answering that question. We have another question now. Come on, okay. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, sir. I'm Amiri. I'm Amiri, and I had a question. Uh, isn't the influencer market heavily influenced by the rich? Like, that the content that gets out is usually put out by the higher economic class people. So, um, isn't the like if, even if you see Instagram, the content that goes viral usually comes from, from iPhone stuff. So, do you have to say something about that? How the influencer market is influenced by the rich? Uh, there's a breakage of voice here. Could you put it on the vertical chart box? Actually, I'm not able to understand. Yeah. There's a breakage of voice here, please. No, somebody was one second. Somebody, you can put it on the chart. Meanwhile, let me talk to about the success of influencer marketing. See, <clears throat> we talk of employee engagement, right? Now, how you measure about vertical employee engagement when you look at the kind of vertical attrition that is taking place across the market? So similarly, the success of what called influence marketing, you know, in terms of what called your sales. When you have partnered, like you know, I was said, you know, that uh, Ata Maker, you have partnered, you know, with some you know well-known what called you know channel on that YouTube and Facebook and all that. So immediately, see, gone are those days when we used to what called you know hand over our advertising, you know, contract with somebody. Okay, the budget is five lakhs. What called you spend it? But today. My experience shows that when an advertising fellow the executive comes to a company, you know, for influencer marketing and all that, he has to come with what called facts and figures. By partnering with what called this influencer marketing, what will be the what called you know rate of increase in the sales and all that? Today, numbers matter. So when you look at what called the numbers, you can what called make or that's what called the litmus test whether you could succeed in what called using influencer marketing to elevate your brand and to what called elevate your increase your sales. Yeah. Could she put it in the chat box? I was not able to what you know follow her yet, please. So we have the question here. Yeah. So the question is: Isn't the influencers market heavily influenced by the rich? With the influencer marketing influences the marketing. Isn't the influencers marketing heavily influenced by the rich? Yes, that's the reason we you know companies are going for what called influencer marketing because till the other day, 
as i was sharing with you the focus was on content marketing you come up with you know about some you know series of videos podcast etc etc and you know that's how you know you try to work attract engage and retain today you know people are working very intelligent you know i mean they just want to come into the vertical showroom you know it's not necessary they buy it you can it as a window shopping am i right most of you youngsters do that but influence marketing you know because they are the key people key influencers they have built trust please make note of this word trust they have you know what called you know established and gained trust over a period of time through their continuous interaction for instance look at me i am in twitter for the last what called five years so it, you know over a period of time you know i built what called a set of followers when i say something i mean it and they take it what called very seriously but as you rightly say i mean uh, as you rightly asked the companies have to what called you know very choosy about the kind of influencer they are looking to work with partner does the message you know given by the influencer really what the influences helps you know the kind of brand you know we are trying to work on build up etc right thank you sir for addressing that question well another student of ours had this question regarding how do we exactly measure the effectiveness of the social of a social media influencer your sales figures <laughs> nothing but your sales figures you know that's what i was sharing with you know that i was in delhi way back in the 80s my advertisement budget used to be what i call you know say 5 lakhs so i give the what i call 5 lakhs to you know to that fellow and he will decide what i call a to z but today does that happen no when a fellow comes you know for what i call you know i mean uh, structuring or organizing our influencer marketing campaign we ask for what i call figures we monitor we review you know i mean we we work with we check in fact you know the agency which handles our influence marketing from time to time they are supposed to what call show the data from the google etc etc how the people are perceiving how the people are responding how the people are react, reacting and simultaneously he will also able to what call share the what call the sales figures as such so just because we partnered with somebody influencer and gone to influence a marketing campaign it's not that we sit you know what call ideal we are continuously monitoring so when you monitor and for the find that is not working well we change the influencer thank you sir for patience perseverance performance we will be patient with our influencer we will perseverance but the most important thing about performance ultimately the figures have to speak yeah yes sir thank you and so now we have our final questions for this q and a session so we have already spoken about influencer marketing as well as celebrity marketing but sir could you throw some light upon the uh, differences that we could give between the two the differences of how different is celebrity marketing from brand from being a brand ambassador my view i stand to be corrected you know is that a celebrity you know what to call you know while endorsing a product may be or may not be able to what to call influence the customers what to call you know purchasing decision okay for instance you know i i, I you must have heard about samantha okay right so when samantha endorses what i call you know colgate with a sort of some kind of thing it's not necessary that you know i bought the colgate i use in fact you know i am in uh, uh, sensodyne whereas in the case of influencer he has a dedicated set of followers it's not that you know i am watching amitabh bachchan i am watching what i call amir khan because he is a celebrity and all that he is a influencer like i gave you the example of you know jayaprakash narayan a politician from what i call hyderabad or say padmanabh reddy a criminal lawyer who struggles you know who fights for governance now in the telugu states of you know andhra and telangana over a period of time you know they have what call a set of followers they built they have trust now when i'm talking about trust i mean contractual trust communication trust and what call you know competency trust contractual what he promises he delivers communication people can take it what call very seriously competency he is competent now for example when we are talking about you know the sri lankan crisis 
whether India also will go through on what are called the same. Do you expect, do you take Amitabh Bachchan seriously or do you take Dr. Subbarao, former RBI governor seriously? Definitely, Dr. Dubri Subbarao, who was my boss, because he's an economist, you know, he was our RBI governor and, you know, he was worked with the World Bank and all that, right? So over a period of time, we watched him and that's how what he built his vertical business. So that's where I, I said, there's a very thin line of difference between a celebrity and an influencer. A celebrity might or might not be. But the fact that you're using the word influencer, that means he's capable, he's competent to what called influence. That's why companies have to be what called very choosy. Are they going for simply celebrity or are they going for what called influencer? Yes, sir. We now know the difference between being a brand ambassador and that of an influencer marketer. So, yes, sir. Thank you so very much for having enlightened us on this buzzing topic of influencer marketing. I'm sure that we've all gained a lot of insights from today's webinar. And by throwing light on the history of marketing, teaching us about the new 4A models, the uniqueness of influencer marketing, by also focusing on its importance, the scope, strategies, that we use in influencer marketing, the metrics used by influencer marketing. I think we all have taken back a lot from today's session. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time out of your busy schedule and delivering such an informative and engaging talk. I would like to thank our principal, Dr. Sister Nadita Thomas, for encouraging us to have such webinars by which we keep ourselves abreast with the latest developments in the field of commerce and management. I would, I would also like to thank Lalita Ma'am for being a constant source of guidance and support. I would like to sincerely thank our organizers, Mrs. Grace Samuel, Mrs. Ashmita D'Souza, and Dr. Sushmita Sarkar for having organized such a well-designed webinar in such a relevant topic. I would also like to express a sincere thanks to all the faculty members of the Department of Commerce and Management. A big thank you to all the participants present here, both online and offline. We hope that all of us have learned a lot and all of us again meet for future such webinars. I extend a warm thanks to the dedicated technical staff for having conducted this meeting in hybrid mode. Last, but not the least, a very big thank you to all the Jyoti Nevaite here. I can confidently say that this has surely been a wonderfully fruitful session for all of us. I know we all have learned enormously from Dr. Reddy's talk today. Once again, I thank everyone for having made this national webinar a grand success. Participants joining us online, please note the feedback link has been posted in the chat box as well as in the WhatsApp group. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Thank you.